A good Friday evening to you. We're going to begin tonight in Jacksonville, where plans are moving forward on a new facility designed to help victims of child abuse. Channel 7's Brenda Lipinski is on your side tonight. She visited that site today and joins us now live in our studio. Brenda. Yeah, so you know, they tell me that North Pulas Jacksonville, North Pulaski County has been in need of something like this for a long time. A location that will offer more immediate services to those in the county. Use them here and talk to them about what they need. So we're, we've already got some furniture. Jennifer Long with Children's Protection Center says in just a few weeks, they'll be setting up shop here in this new space out in Jacksonville, North Pulaski County. We serve over a thousand kids a year. And what we found a couple of years ago, that over a third of those children, over 300 kids, are coming from the north part of this county. And again, they shouldn't have to drive so far, but not only that, to be able to get services in the community that they live. She says when they were looking for a space, the superintendent of North Pulaski School District offered to help. I her here at Pinewood, and she saw the potential, I saw the potential, Mr. Gray saw the potential, and that's where it started. Uh, and, and now we're here, about to open phase one. The $1.5 million project is divided up into three phases. So what we are going to be opening soon is about 2,500 square feet where we'll be able to serve about three families at a time. We'll have full forensic interviewing services, full advocacy services, mental health services, and partial medical response at the center that's here in Jacksonville. But they haven't raised all the needed funds yet to complete the entire project. We are really going to have to rely on community partners to provide mental health services to our kiddos until we are able to expand space. We also can't offer full medical services yet, and that's really, really important. So right now, even with our opening, when a child comes in and maybe they disclose the kind of abuse that would require a medical response, we're going to have to send them to Little Rock. Hoping to raise the funds so more children in Arkansas can have access to resources. The community is excited. They're excited about being able to provide these resources right here in Jacksonville. And not just Jacksonville, we're, we're going to be able to service the entire part of northern Pulaski on this side of the river. Now the superintendent says that their school district contribute 200, contributed $250,000 towards the project and that they'll be charging $1 a year in rent to use the space. On your side, I'm Brenda Lipinski. Great job by them. Brenda, thanks very much. CPC will open in Jacksonville on April 1st, which also marks the beginning of Child Abuse Prevention Month.